hungry, Mom. You're hungry. I'm hungry, Mom. Okay, well, give me a second. Hi. Oh, Jared, I don't have enough money for McFlurry. Yeah, I think I have enough. I don't think so. So we can chat. What do you warm up? I don't want anything. I do feel that I don't have the freedom that parents of typical developing kids would have, especially at the age that you guys are right now. But it is wearing, it's tiring. You never have a moment off, but it's just a, it's a different type of parenting journey. It is what it is, and my job as a parent is to make sure that all of my kids have the best life possible for them. are hard to handle especially if I'm a little tired or had a tough day myself and then come home and she's over the top I'll be the first to admit before I had a child with a disability that I would kind of sort of judge if I was in a store and saw a kid quote unquote misbehaving mm -hmm. and um, then after having a child with a disability and having to deal with the stares and the comments and the ridicule in the stores um, I think it's made me a stronger person I think I'm more of an advocate for people with disabilities when you're dealing with the day-to-day -day activities of having a child with a disability you really basically barely have time to take a shower or go to the bathroom so there's not a lot of time to do a lot of research but the one thing that I learned is you have got to be the biggest advocate for your child and if that means you have to ruffle feathers, if that means that you have to go to school on a daily basis, whatever it is you have to do for your child to make sure that your child can excel to the best of their ability, and you have to go with your gut but that you can't do at the very beginning because you're still trying to deal with your own emotions. Rewarding any time that she has a milestone, you know, like with her talking. She didn't talk till she was six. You know, silly things like being potty trained. You know, just the things she was able to accomplish you know how well acclimated she was at school where she could be mainstreamed a lot you know throughout the day how you know what a great artist she is and how you know the teachers were <coughs> willing to really work with her to you know bring out all that artistic ability in her Mm -hmm. um, and I think at some point she'd be very capable of holding down a job with assistance and possibly living in an, um, some kind of assisted living facility. 
But I mean, any time that she's able to accomplish, like, you know, a year ago, I wouldn't have been comfortable taking her to McDonald's and letting her go in there by herself to, you know, order her food and sit in there and eat. And for me, that's rewarding. Any advancement step into becoming um, an independent adult is kind of the goal. Mm -hmm. Did I answer that? Okay.